Hi everyone, it's November 11, 2012. That'll be 11, 11, 12. So much for arithmetic. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. And as you've noted, today we're calling this Bad Guys and Dumb Guys. The bad guys I'm going to refer to are those predators out there. And that's what they are, predators. <clears throat> I was watching the Young Turks a while ago before I made this and one thing I saw was a, a thing about one of their makeup gurus a, a lady by the name of Brie Librand B-R-I-E-L-Y-B-R-A-N-D Brie Librand she's a makeup guru whatever that is an aspiring actress well she's got a video out on her channel uh, she talks to her rapist uh, you know and it's Sure, there's editing in it, etc., etc. I'll go into that. The reason I said it. It's pretty horrifying, though. She accuses her father, a guy by the name of Steve Bressler, and I do not know how to spell Bressler, but Steve Bressler, of having sexually abused, raped her from the time she was four till she was 13, bunging her mother's teeth out when the woman tried to protect the young girl from being molested this one particular night some horrifying stuff now again she has said she's an aspiring actress etc etc so you know and the reason I'm going into that there's a guy by the name of Speak Up Bro he did a, a video called an open message to my red Solara Brie Libran, uh where he thinks uh, be, you know that because of the editing Etc. Etc. The fact that she's an inspiring actress, uh, you know, the makeup artist, and all this, he thinks that what she said was it's fake. He's out. She's trying to get something going here, and it has gone viral. And they've talked about it in the New York Times. They've talked about it in the New Yorker. It's it's gone. It's big time, you know. And I hope that it's not. Not because, you know, anybody should have to go through that kind of thing where he tied her up and chained her and, you know, let's face it, guys. If what you got to pick on as a four-year-old, you're pretty worthless. But there are, as I said, predators out there who, well, you know, there's been the line for ages and ages that they're old enough to bleed, old enough to butcher. Some guys really think that well, if they're old enough to pee, they're old enough for me. There's a special place in hell for those guys. And it ain't in the cool spot. Believe me. And, you know, okay, he's on the town council, wherever he's at. Maybe aspiring to be mayor. Thank God the elections are over and I hope he lost. Again, this is, I'm going to take her side because from what I saw, the girl was hurting the lady was hurting from the memories of what should have been a childhood and wasn't when you know you're going to face this night after night after night because you're so small and so weak and <clears throat> you know and she says that she didn't take you to court well you know okay a lot of people in this position don't ever get their day in court. They're scared, and fear is really the thing. There's, I believe her when she said she was been scared all her life that he's going to show up at her front door. I know a little about fear myself. It's an uncontrollable thing. You really can't control it. Once it's there and you've been beat on for years and years and years, it bloody well takes years and years and years to get over it. Now in her video, she shows a bit of her gun collection. I don't blame her for that. Put it right out there that you are now a protected woman. I do suggest, and I hope you already have gotten the protection permits, any permits you may need in your locale, 
by all means. And if you're going to another locale, phone ahead to the cop shop there that you're coming through. You've got the license. Find out what they need. But you're damn well going to be carrying armed. There's a good reason for it. You know, once again, I don't know for a fact if it's true or not true. I don't. I know that there are cases like this that are true. And, you know, again, this guy deserves, if it's true, and I strongly suspect from what I saw, what I heard, that it is true. Well, I would only hope he does something to land his ass in prison and put him right out in the yard in population. Here's hell on earth, boys. Have a nice day. You get what you got. You get what you gave. That's the bad guys. And I'm not saying that, you know, speak up, bro's a bad guy. I just think on this particular instance, he's wrong. I really do. I don't, you know, yes, there's editing. Yes, there's fine-tuning. Well, okay. But you don't put yourself out there on the limb like this if it isn't true. She could lose everything in a heartbeat nobody wants to be that pariah get my drift now I want to talk for just a few minutes on the dumb guys and here I'm really referring to <coughs> Crush Limbaugh, uh, Rush Limbaugh and Bill O'Reilly, Riley, Bill O'Reilly you know Rush was amazed on his radio show a few days ago. Now, he's backtracked a little, but he's amazed that everybody wants stuff. Well, he thought that was, you know, reserved that only rich and famous people wanted stuff. What? You know, you, first of all, it's people such as you, Rush, with your fancy estates and all that stuff, who want to, you know, cheap out on the gardening labor, so you hire the illegals because they're cheaper than the real deal. You know it, I know it, we all know it, but it don't get said because, well, it would piss certain people off. Too bad. I really don't shiv a git. Okay? Too bad. Listen, you pill-popping fat boy. Listen up. Everybody wants stuff. You don't think those gardeners want a TV? You don't think maybe a better truck? My God, man. How stupid could you possibly be? Oh, yeah. Let's get on the bill now. Well, stupidity and depravity reached a new low when Bill O'Reilly said, and I can't, Think of the exact quote, so I'm going to paraphrase here just a little bit for you. That, you know, the Latino vote and the young, the under 30 vote and the female vote, well, they've all made erosions on the white rich vote, and that wasn't accounted for in Tuesday's staggering losses all over the country. The neocons only conned themselves this time. You know, yeah, the economy hasn't gotten a whole lot better, but damn it, boys, you're the ones, you're, you're the reason it hasn't gotten any better. You have fought tooth and nail against anything that would make the economy better. Here's a clue. The economy gets better when everybody has a couple extra bucks to spend. Not just you guys. Duh! To quote Homer Simpson. And really, Bill. I mean, now this one is a quote. Well, this isn't the same country it was 20 years ago. No kidding. Who told you? You quoted all those statistics and you didn't know that? Why are these people, these allegedly intelligent people, paying you so goddamn much money? That goes for you too, Rush. 
Why are these people paying you all this kind of money for doing what? Being wrong? Dumb guys. Highly paid, very influential, dumb guys. The unfortunate part is they are highly influential because there's a lot of sheeple out there that just hang on every word these two clowns say. They really don't have that many working synapses between them, so they just go with, well, these guys are rich and famous, so, you know, I want to be rich and famous, I'll just listen to them. Well, that's how they got rich and famous, is people like you listen to them. Now you can't understand why people who didn't listen to them outvoted you, because there's more of us than there is a you. And we're better at what we do. Sorry about your luck. Maybe you can remember this simple fact. The economy gets way the hell better when everybody has a couple of dollars. Not just a couple guys having all the dollars. How many houses are they going to buy? How many cars are they going to ride in at the same time? Get a clue, then get a grip. I'm Dwight Schmuck. Oh, one more thing, really. Thank you very much. Uh, I know I've got it down here somewhere. <coughs> oh, DAV TVE. DAV TVE. Thank you for subscribing. I got a new subscriber, DAV TVE. I wanted to say that earlier, it just slipped by me, but I got it in now. Hey, I got a lot of subscribers, not many views. Figure that out. Exactly my point. Folks, have a great day. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's the Schmuck look. Peace.